Uh, Chairman Bernanke, I want to thank you for coming to visit with our committee and giving us uh, your thoughts. I'd like to thank you and your staff at the Federal Reserve for offering your insights on the drag of the housing market on our economy in that uh, recent white paper. That uh, paper explains that foreclosures are considered dead weight loss to the economists we've heard from. They cost everyone. They cost the banks, they cost the government, they cost families, and they cost society. I think there's no better word for the glut of vacant properties in my district in down, deep South Texas. I uh, think that they are being dragged by this dead weight of foreclosed homes and by the headwinds of negative equity. Project Rebuild would put Americans to work refurbishing and repurposing current foreclosed properties to help ease the shortage of affordable housing options. So my question is, if programs such as rent, as programs such as the real estate owned to rent program, second, the housing trust fund and the project rebuild were to be enacted and funded, what do you predict would be the effect of not only the housing market, but the rental market? Well, first, Congressman, I, I agree that um, foreclosures impose a lot of costs, not only on the family, the borrowers, and the lending institution, but also on the neighborhood, the community, and on the national housing market. So that's, that's right. It's, it's a very uh, it's very costly. I'm not all that familiar with the specific programs you're, you're referring to, but we have discussed in the white paper the idea of um, REO to rental. It would seem to make sense to remove any artificial barriers to letting the market do what the market seems to want to do, which is given higher rents and low house prices, it seems like it would make sense to take some of those empty houses and put them up into, into rental. Um, the, as you know, the GSEs are uh, doing a pilot program uh, to see if that will work. Um, the issues have to do with whether or not there are enough uh, foreclosed homes within a local area. Uh, is, there is there financing available for uh, mass purchases of homes? Um, uh, are advisory restrictions on banks that would prevent them from doing so? I think there's some barriers that we can remove that might make this economic, we might see uh, even the private sector uh, undertaking this, and part of that would be refurnishing, uh, refurbishing and, uh, and repairing uh, dilapidated homes. The biggest barrier that I see has been the uh, lack of community banks giving loans to those who want to carry out those programs. But let me move to another question that's of great interest to me. I serve as a ranking member of Higher Education Subcommittee, and I'm deeply concerned about the cost of higher education and the ever-increasing amount of debt that our students are being burdened with. Last year, students received more than $100 billion in college loans for the first time ever, and the total outstanding college loans are projected to surpass a trillion dollars. Student debt now exceeds credit card debt for the first time, and recently default rates on college loans have jumped up. I'd like to hear your insights on the possible effects of such unprecedented student college loan debt on our economy and the possibility of a student loan bubble crisis here in our country. Well, student loans are becoming a very large category of loans. Um, my son in medical school recently informed me that he expected to have $400,000 in, in debt when he graduates uh, from, from school. Um, I don't know about a, a bubble per se, because going forward, most of the uh, new lending is being done by the federal government. Now, there could be, of course, uh, uh, losses uh, that might affect the taxpayer if that program is not adequately managed. Um, so I think it does require some ca careful oversight. Uh, th there may be ways to, um, you know, on, on the one hand, it's, it's, a, it's, it's good that people who don't have the means can obtain the good school. That's, that's important. And student loans play an important role in that respect. But one might consider whether there are ways of, um, uh, of tying repayment to financial conditions, for example, uh, as a share of, of income earned or with discounts for certain types of service. There are various ways to look at how to repay student loans that might better adjust the, um, 
uh, cost of the loan to the capacity of the student. But student loans are a good thing in, in, in principle, but obviously the program has to be well managed and it's become increasingly a federal responsibility to do that. The time of the gentleman has Thank expired. You.